On today's episode of Watch Che Ergo, I'm doing a break job to give back a bit. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jerigo and this is Cash. Hi. And she reached out through a friend and needed her brakes changed. So I was like, yeah, we can definitely do that. Plus we've got the quick checks here. So we're gonna do a brake job on a, what, what is this? 2014 Ford Fusion. Okay, cool. So that should be pretty fun and also easy because obviously all these new cars, super easy to work on. So I'm pretty excited to do it and you can kind of learn how to do it. Yes. So, just in case I want to do it by myself sometime. Yeah, there you go. What we're going to do is just throw the quick checks under your car and get it up in the air, pull these wheels off, and then uh, change some brakes. Okay. Cool. Should we go get the parts too? Yes, we should. We'll run to <laughs> O'Reilly's here in a bit <laughs> and get some parts. I hope they have everything. So, your car actually has arrows right here, which is really cool. It tells you where to lift oh, exactly. Nice. All right. So, you just kind of slide the quick checks under and then line it up with those. Okay. And now for the fun part, I've got the quick checks all set up. It's just so easy now. I don't have to mess around. This is totally cheating. If you lift the lightsaber up just a little bit, you can see the uh, the brake rotor, right? You'll see it turning. Look at the pads on each side of it. There is no pad left at all. Okay, where? Right, right here. You're looking through that hole. So <laughs> those rear brakes are completely gone and your front brakes look Absolutely excellent. There's tons of pad material on the front. Oh, that's really bad that my, that's well, what I was supposed to prevent from happening. Well, you're fine. So there's, it's not, the rotor's not trash yet and uh, you're not like metal to metal yet. So we can just change those and you're good to go. But yeah, your fronts look great and your rears are completely gone. So this thing right here is the pad you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. And it's, this will be a super easy, quick job. Okay, the so only it fun is part the is back ones, which I didn't even think existed. <laughs> yeah. Because I know vehicles so well. <laughs> so your uh, lug nuts are definitely trash too. Okay, it's... so front wheel drive does not have anything to do with the brakes. <laughs> yeah, you mean, always like, you okay. always have brakes all, all around. All around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, front it's wheel drive. It's a common drive. misconception. It is. It is. Uh, <laughs> but we need two lug nuts because weirdly your lug nuts were completely toast. I've never heard a dealership say you need to change lug nuts, which I guess they told you. they're swollen? That doesn't make it's any like, sense. Yeah, right. But that really happened. Those were just toast because they're 20 mils and they, they just, that one was trash. Yep. So two lug nuts and brake pads for the rear and we should be, uh, you know, 10, 15 more minutes ready to go. All right, sounds good. Cool. I don't know who put these on or if they were still on from the factory, but wow, they were tight. So popping off the whole caliper bracket here. It's like the easiest way to do this. Not exactly easy to work in here. This thing has electronic parking brakes. And while I like that a lot, kind of hard to work around. All right, we got the bolts out, got the caliper off. <laughs> well, maybe, there we go. Now we got the caliper off. We'll set it right up here. And uh, now you can take a look at the pads that are basically gone. Should just snap right out. Has it done any damage to the rotor? Oh, no, 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 the rotor's fine. Okay. Okay. You can still see there's pad material, so technically they weren't 100% gone. They so were just- like perfect timing? Yeah, perfect timing. They were definitely worn. So there's one, trash. So I got those rear brake pads off and I realized that we can't just push that electronic parking brake uh, uh, actuator into the caliper there. So uh, there is a process here. It is set ignition to on. We are in on. Press and hold the accelerator pedal, wide open throttle. Place EBP switch into release, down. Set ignition to off and then set to on within five seconds. Continue to hold accelerator pedal and switch. EBP system will be deactivated. Park brake maintenance mode. There we go, that's a good sign. Okay. So I went ahead and opened the hood and now we can see in the brake fluid reservoir, basically we don't want to uh, push too much fluid in and overfill that thing. So uh, got the cap off and if we need to, we will extract some brake fluid. But now that the electronic parking brake is in service mode, I've got my caliper retractor tool and I can just turn it and push the piston 
back into the caliper cylinder. So a couple seconds, we should have that fully retracted and be ready to throw in some new pads. Hopefully there's no fluid coming out. There's none right now, no. Okay, good. So we're about all the way in, so that's a good sign. All right, we are here at O'Reilly's to pick up some brakes and uh, replacement lug nut. I forgot your lug nut uh, because the lug nuts on this are truly trash. So we grabbed one just so we can make sure we get a replacement that's about the same. All right, let's party. Go ahead. What's up? What up? Awesome, Braden found some lug nuts. Yeah. And these are uh, basically OEM replacements. The Ford ones use like a, an aluminum cap. And then we need some brake pads too. Okay, 14, or 14 fusion, correct? 14 fusion, rear, and ceramic. Okay. Brake pad. Done. I'll take what you have in stock, All it's ceramic. Right. Cool. All we good? Thanks, man. Sweet. Ceramic brake pads and uh, the socket for these logs. Uh, these are actually 19s and the stock ones are 20s, which is funny. But, close enough. <laughs> yeah, close enough. It'll get you home. Yeah. You don't think I'm gonna get this done in one trip? Never. <laughs> All right, man, thank you. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. See ya. All right, there you go. A whole brake job for free. <laughs> So we've got the pads outside. I went ahead and sprayed them with a little disc brake quiet, give them a nice even coating there. And uh, that should make sure they never have any like screeching or chatter or anything like that. And as soon as those are dry, we'll give them 10, 15 minutes. We should be ready to throw them on the car. So for now, let's go get the passenger side rear off and get ready to change these. All right, Cash, I'm gonna let you pull this one off. Oh, the, uh, probably the 20, cause that one's too big in reality. Is this the 20? Uh, yeah. All right. Here. Is that tightening it? I think it might be in oh. uh, Nope, you're good, you're good. There you go, you got it. <laughs> As you can see, again, on the passenger side, there's basically zero pad left. So we'll go ahead and get these changed out and it uh, should just take a few seconds. I took one of those lug nuts off and the cap basically just disintegrated. Luckily it's a 19 underneath. So I don't understand this like 20 cover that doesn't work very well. Maybe they were all 19s and they mushroomed into 20s like the dealership said. Oh well, this is going in the trash and the new ones are much, much nicer. So here's an old pad for comparison. As you can see, it has about as much pad left as the uh, anti-chatter plate on it. And here is the new pad. So you can see what one should look like and it's considerably better. Uh, we'll throw this on now. The one with the spring goes on the back, just like that. And the one without the spring goes in the front. So pull this out. The back one is going in. Get that lined up, compress the spring. I'd say we're just about there. Looks like this side actually popped out a little bit down here. And here goes the outer one. Just go ahead and drop it in. Slide it back into the bracket and put our spring on. I'm gonna go ahead and just slide this on because we've got plenty of room here. There we go. Get it lined up and then we'll put in our retainer spring here that pulls everything together. So. That should just hook on kind of like that. There we go. That's basically back together. Uh, all that's left is putting in our bolts and tightening this down, putting the wheel on. So super easy. Hopefully you guys can see what was going on there, but obviously a brake job, pretty easy, all said. I got both of those started. You can see the bolts, it's the top one and the bottom one that looks exactly like that. They're both 15s. Oh, it's right here. Yep, and if you just tighten those down, it's basically done. We will torque them after. But yeah, pretty simple job. Oh, you're gonna send it, huh? NASCAR style? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like doing eeny, meeny, miny, mo actually to see which other one I want to replace. Oh, I see. Just I to see. be honest. <laughs> yep. And I think it's this one. All right. No, it's this one. Try to get rid of all the bad lug nuts. While Cash is getting that rear driver wheel mounted, uh, I went ahead and got this off. So we are ready to swap the last of the brake pads here. And uh, yeah. We'll just open this up, change those pads real fast and stick it right back on. And hopefully again, we don't overfill the brake fluid, but we'll just run this down until it's all the way back in. And I'm just checking the brake fluid reservoir every few seconds. Brake fluid's still good up there? Oh, is it overflowing? Oh my gosh, no it's not. <laughs> you had me. Still good? Yeah, Okay. I can't even see it. All right, it's all the way in. 
<laughs> if, you, if you don't even see it, you were really low on brake fluid, so that's good. Yeah, good that I'm low on brake fluid. Good. Uh, well, it's not good. It's just good from an install standpoint. And a couple seconds later, this one's going back together. And I think we're done with this. We can throw the wheels back on and you're good to go. So two more bolts, put a wheel on. This thing's wrapped up. Shout out to Ford for setting this up. So this is all the wrench swing you have right there. The top bolt, super easy. The bottom bolt, not so fun. And your brake job is done. There's the old pads. Uh, we're gonna throw all this away and it's time to take the parking brake out of your uh, parking brake service mode. So as a bonus, your brake fluid actually looks like brand new. So that's good. Okay. And it's like right at the top. So we are gonna go ahead and leave that alone. And go ahead and put your little battery cover back too, if it'll go on. Cool. All right, we are done under here. Okay. Nice. All right, do you, do you want to do the fun part? Yes. Let your car down? Okay. All right, so on the uh, jack there, go ahead and hit up real quick. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just hold it. There you go, stop. Okay. All right, so now, let me just flip those. Okay, you're all clear. Just hit down. Uh, hold it the whole time. And you should be good. For fun, we get to tighten up the new lug nuts first and then switch sockets and uh, finish tightening everything else. There we go. All right, so that's the 19s. Now we switch to the 20. Finish this up. You excited? You've got new brakes? Yes. I do have to get your brakes. I keep forgetting that parking brake mode. So, oh, will you hand me your keys? They're on the toolbox there. Park, it literally says all the time, park brake maintenance mode. So I think I read set ignition to on, press and hold accelerator pedal and place EBP switch in apply, apply, set the ignition to off. One, two, Keep holding. Release. Oh, the hood's open. Ah, uh, the parking brake. It does sound like the parking brake's working now. So let's see. It's set to off. We've got, so we've got brake pedal feel again, and now I think we've got brake uh, parking brake. Brake set. Oh, press brake. Sweet. I think it's completely fixed. Let me go actually. So you just hit the brake and the switch at the same time and it turns it's, off? It's uh, gas pedal and the switch, hold them up, and then turn the car off and back on and then release, and then basically do the opposite of that. Or it's down the first time and then up the second time, I think. That's weird, because before yeah. I just hit it and it would work, and then I just hit the brake in that. This is just for the maintenance mode. Yeah. Oh. This is not, not for like normal use. Yeah. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yep. Before I stick you with this thing, we're gonna do a quick road test, make sure everything's good, and uh, that your brakes work. Okay. So far, it seems like everything's okay. I don't no, hear it's any. It's not squeaking. Yeah, I don't hear any Yay. noise, so we're probably good. We'll just go around the block. All right, I think your brakes are fixed. So hopefully you can go through life without squeaky brakes anymore. All right, sounds I, good, no more squealing. I know that's key. All right, you did most of it yourself, I didn't do much. Good All job, right, Cash. Well, thank you. Yeah, now uh, enjoy. Thanks so much. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchgr.com where you get cool shirts just like this. And please, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I will talk to you next time. Doo -doo -doo. Are you gonna put it in sexy mode? Sexy mode? I like how that's sexy mode. <laughs>